Welcome to Hard Hat Engineer. In this video, you will learn the different types of valves used in process piping. I am covering main types of valves listed here. You will learn many key points about each of these V. So, watch the video till the end. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can subscribe right now by clicking the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen. Because this way, you will get the notification of a new video. Let's start with the video. What is gate valve? A gate valve is a type of valve that uses a wedge type sliding gate to stop or start the flow of a fluid. Gate valves are typically used in on-off applications. It is the most common type of valve that is used in any process plant. It is a linear motion valve used to start or stop fluid flow. In service, the valve position is either fully open or fully closed. When the gate valve is open fully, the disc is completely removed from the flow. Therefore, virtually has no obstruction to flow. As you can see here in the animation. Due to this, very little pressure drops across the valve when fluid passes through it. It should not be used for regulation or throttling of flow by a partially open gate because accurate control is not possible and the high velocity of the flow in the partially open gate valve may cause erosion of the disc and seating surfaces and also creates vibration and noise. Here you can see the cut section of gate valve showing key components such as body, disc, stem and other trim parts. Gate valves are used in almost all fluid services such as air, fuel gas, feed water, steam, lube oil, hydrocarbon and almost any other services. Some special types are used in slurry and powder products also, such as knife gate valves. There are several different types of gate valves depending on their operating mechanisms such as rising stem and non-rising stem gate valves. Depending upon their disc type, such as double disc, wedge gate and parallel slide gate valves. Advantages of gate valves Gate valves are relatively inexpensive. The gate valve has no obstruction so the pressure in the valve doesn't drop during operation and the loss is very minimal. They are suitable for high pressure and temperature application and require less maintenance. Disadvantages of gate valves It is slow in operation. Repairs such as lapping and grinding of seats are more difficult due to limited access. Gate valves are not suitable for fluid control purposes. What is globe valve? A globe valve is a linear motion valve used to start, stop and regulate fluid flow in process piping systems. It is a control valve that provides precise flow control and reliable performance. During the opening and closing of the valve, the disc moves perpendicularly to the seat as you can see here. This movement creates the annular space between the disc and seat ring that gradually closes as the valve closes. This characteristic provides the globe valve good throttling ability required for regulating the flow. Leakage from the globe valve seat is less as compared to the gate valve, mainly due to right angle contact between the disc and seat ring, which allows a tighter seal between the seat and the disc. In this valve cross section, you can see the key components. You can see that the valve body shape is globular compared to a gate valve, which makes it easier to identify. Use of globe valve. Globe valves are used in a wide range of applications in process piping systems, including controlling the flow of liquids, gases and vapors. It is also used to isolating equipment for maintenance or repair and regulating pressure and flow. There are several different types of globe valves depending upon types of body and disc design, such as Z types, Y types and angle types. Advantages of globe valve precise flow control, reliable performance, suitable for a wide range of applications, available in a variety of materials and sizes, disadvantages of globe valve, more expensive than some other types of valves, higher pressure drop across the valve, large valve requires considerable power to open and create noise while in operation. If you want to learn more about 18 types of valves, their subtypes and testing you can check my full course on piping valves. Link is given in the description. Next is, what is plug valve? A plug valve is a quarter turn rotary motion valve 
that uses a tapered or cylindrical plug to stop or start the flow. The disc is in plug shape, which has a passage to pass the flow. This board passage is in line with the flow in the open position. When the plug is turned 90 degrees from the open position, the solid part of the plug blocks the flow. It is used in place of a gate valve where quick operation is required. It can be used in high pressure, high temperature services. In this valve cross section, you can see the key components. You can see that the plug is used as a disc. This valve is used as an on off stop valve and is capable of providing a bubble tight shutoff. It can be used in different types of fluid services such as air, gaseous, vapor, hydrocarbon, slurries, mud and sewage applications. Also, it is used in a vacuum and high pressure and temperature applications. Plug valves are available in either a lubricated or non-lubricated design and with different styles of port openings through the plug, such as rectangular port, round port and diamond port. Here you can see a multi-port plug valve as well. Advantages of plug valve Simple design with few parts, quick to open or close. Offers minimal resistance to flow. Multiple port design helps reduce the number of valves needed and permits a change in a flow direction. Disadvantages of plug valve. It requires greater force to operate due to high friction. Larger valves cannot be operated manually and require an actuator. The cost of plug valves may be more than ball valves for a given size and class. What is ball valve? A ball valve is a quarter turn rotary motion valve that uses a ball shaped disc to stop or start the flow. It resembles a plug valve in many ways. Most ball valves are quick acting, requiring a 90 degrees turn of the valve handle to operate the valve. But in case of a large size valve, which requires considerable force to open or close the valve, the gear operated actuator is used. With this arrangement, a small hand wheel is enough to operate a fairly large valve. Here in this image, you can see the cross section of ball valve. These valves are easier to identify due to their shape. Ball valves are a versatile type of valve that can be used in a variety of applications due to their simple design, reliable operation, and low maintenance requirements. This valve provides bubble tight shutoff. That means absolute tight sealing. Metal seated valves can be used in high pressure and temperature applications. There are different types of ball valves available such as floating, tronion mounted, three-way, top entry, side entry or split body and three-piece body design. The selection depends on the application where it is going to be used. Let's see the advantages. It is a quick open and close type valve that provides bubble tight reliable sealing in high pressure temperature applications. It is smaller and lighter than a gate valve of the same size and rating. Several designs of ball valves offer the flexibility of selection so that you can choose the valve that suits your requirements. Easy to operate and cost effective maintenance. On the opposite side, it has disadvantages such as it cannot be used in services that require throttling. In slurry or other similar applications, the suspended particles can settle and become trapped in body cavities causing wear, leakage or valve failure. Due to rapid opening and closing, surge pressures may arise, damaging downstream equipment. What is Butterfly Valve? Butterfly valves control flow with a rotating disc, offering compact design and swift operation for large-scale systems in industries. It is a quarter-turn rotary motion valve that is used to stop, regulate and start the flow. Butterfly valves are a quick open type. A 90 degrees rotation of the handle can completely close or open the valve. Normally, they are used in systems where a positive shutoff is not required. Here you can see the cross section of the valve. The typical butterfly valve has a short circular body, a round disc, shaft and metal or soft seats. You can see the parts in the image. Because of this shape, it is known as butterfly valve. A butterfly valve is used in many different fluid services and performs well in slurry applications. They can be used in liquids, steam, cryogenics, cooling water, air, gases, firefighting and vacuum services. Butterfly valve is used in all types of industries 
even in high pressure and temperature services where high degree of shut off is not required. There are many design types available such as wafer type, log style type, flange type, butt welded ends types, zero offset, double offset and triple offset. Now look at the advantages. Butterfly valve is suitable for large valve applications due to its compact, lightweight design that requires considerably less space as compared to other valves. Due to a quick operation, it needs less time to open or close. The maintenance costs are usually low compared to other valve types. A pressure drop across a butterfly valve is small. Valve with non-metallic seating can be used in chemical or corrosive media. There are few disadvantages such as Throttling is limited to low differential pressure services and that too with a 30 to 80 degree disc opening. There is a chance for cavitation and choking as the disc is always in the flow which can affect the disc movement. What is needle valve? A needle valve is a manual valve used where continuous flow throttling is required for regulation. Needle valves are similar to the globe valve in design with the biggest difference being the sharp needle like disc. Needle valves are designed to give very accurate flow control in small diameter piping systems. They get their name from their sharp pointed conical disc and matching seat. Here in the image, you can see the sharp needle like disc that controls the flow. Fluid flowing through the valve turns 90 degrees and passes through an orifice. Due to the needle shape of the disc, a certain portion of the disc will pass through the seat opening before the disc comes in contact with the seat which has to match the tapered design of a disc. This arrangement permits a very gradual increase or decrease in the size of the opening. All field analog instruments are fitted with a needle valve to control flow entry, where sudden surges of fluid under pressure can damage the instruments. Needle valves can be used in situations where the flow must stop gradually and in the application where precise adjustments of flow are required or where a small flow rate is desired such as sample points in the piping. Advantages of needle valve Precise flow control is possible. Needle valves offer fine adjustment and regulation of fluid flow, making them ideal for applications that require accurate flow rates. Needle valves can be used for throttling, allowing for gradual increases or decreases in flow rate. Disadvantages of needle valve Due to their small size and design, Needle valves have a limited flow capacity compared to other types of valves. The small orifice of a needle valve can be prone to clogging, especially when dealing with fluids containing particles or debris. What is check valve? Check valves permit flow in one direction only, preventing backflow and ensuring the unidirectional movement of fluids in pipelines. It is also known as a non-return valve or NRV the pressure of the fluid passing through a pipeline opens the valve, while any reversal of flow will close the valve. It allows full unobstructed flow and automatically shuts as pressure decreases. The exact operation will vary depending on the mechanism of the valve. In this image, you can see the parts of non-return valve. It consists of the body, cover, disc, hinge pin and seat ring. Check valves are used in a piping system to prevent backflow. The rotary equipment's discharge line, such as the pump and compressor, is always fitted with a check valve to prevent backflow. The type of disc will decide the type of valve. The most common types of check valves are swing type, lift type, dual plate type and stop check valve. Advantages and disadvantages The only function of a non-return valve is to prevent backflow. There is no better alternative. Yes, you can choose the best NRV from the various available types that you have learned, but you cannot supplement the non-return valve with another valve. What is pinch valve? Pinch valve is also known as diaphragm valves. This valve uses a flexible diaphragm to control flow, making them suitable for applications where contamination must be minimized. It operates by pinching a flexible rubber sleeve to control the flow of fluid or solid passing through the valve. These valves are widely used in industries such as mining, wastewater treatment, and chemical processing industries. Pinch valves are unique in their design and function. They consist of a valve body, an actuator, and a flexible rubber sleeve, 
also known as the pinch tube. The valve body holds the rubber sleeve that creates a flow path for the fluid or slurry to pass through, while the actuator is responsible for operating the pinch valve. The rubber sleeve acts as the gate that regulates the flow by pinching or releasing the sleeve. There are several types of pinch valves available for various applications depending on their operating mechanism such as air operated pinch valves, pneumatic pinch, solenoid pinch valves and mechanical pinch valves. Each type has its own advantages and is suitable for different operating conditions. Advantages of pinch valves One of the main advantages is their ability to handle abrasive or corrosive materials. The rubber sleeve acts as a barrier between the fluid and the valve body, preventing direct contact and minimizing the risk of corrosion or contamination. Another advantage of pinch valves is their wide range of applications. They can handle a variety of fluids including slurries, powders and even gaseous substances. This versatility makes pinch valves suitable for use in industries such as mining, chemical processing, wastewater treatment and many more. Disadvantages of pinch valves One limitation of pinch valves is their relatively low pressure rating. They are typically suitable for low to medium pressure applications and may not be suitable for high pressure industries. Another disadvantage is the potential for wear and tear on the rubber elastomer sleeve. Depending on the material being handled, the rubber sleeve may degrade over time, requiring regular replacement. What is safety valve? Safety valves release excess pressure to protect systems from damage, making them crucial for maintaining safety in pressure vessels and other equipment. The primary purpose of a pressure relief valve is to protect life and property by venting fluid from an overpressurized system. Furthermore, the vacuum relief valve ensures that a vacuum-like situation does not occur in the system by allowing air inside the system. There are three types of pressure relief devices. Reclosing type pressure relief devices, non-reclosing type pressure relief devices and vacuum relief devices. Here you can see the conventional pressure relief valve. The main parts of the conventional pressure relief valve are a body, bonnet, disc, disc holder, seat and spring. Based on the seating material, conventional pressure relief valves are classified as metal seated valves and soft seated valves. The working principle of a conventional pressure relief valve is based on the balance of force. That means the spring load will keep the disc on the seat till the system pressure is less than the spring force. There are many subtypes for the valves I have mentioned here. If you want to learn about it, you can check my full course. Link is given in the description. The function of the safety valve is protecting life and property by venting fluid from an overpressurized system. So, there is no alternative. Wow, this is a long video and you have watched it fully. As you reach the end of this video, I am giving you a 20% discount on the course price using code ETV20 if you wish to learn more on this topic. See you soon with the next short video. Please visit my website hardhitengineer.com to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe and share. See you soon with the next video. Goodbye. Take care.